Welcome to this training video on the Outlook web app. We will cover how to access and use your Outlook calendar function. The Outlook web app is a website, so it is available on any PC, anywhere in the world that has internet access. There is no need to install any software for you to get your long and foster email. You will now watch demonstrations of how to use the calendar functions in the Outlook web app. Open your web browser and enter mail.longandfoster.com in the address field. You will then get the Outlook web app login window. Use this password window in the same manner that you access many other Long and Foster programs from outside of your office. In the domain slash username field, enter lnfnet backslash and then your five digit Long and Foster agent number. In the next field, enter your password. This is the same password you enter to access the network in your office. Once you have entered your password, click on the sign in button. We are now on the main Outlook web app page. If you access your email on the Outlook program on your office's PC, then the Outlook web app will duplicate everything you see, including all of your emails and everything in your folders. Let's start by clicking on the calendar button in the lower left hand corner. The calendar will display today's date on the calendar or the current week or month depending on your view settings which can be adjusted using the view drop down button shown. On the calendar screen you can go to another month by clicking on the arrows highlighted to change the month forward or backward. You can also change the day or week shown in the window by selecting the arrows in the upper left corner to move forward or backward. Once you have the correct day displaying on the calendar, double click on the approximate time of the appointment that you want to place on your calendar. A new appointment window will open. Begin to create the appointment by first filling in the subject for the appointment. Then, enter the location of the appointment, if desired. Next, you can modify the start and end dates for the appointment, as well as the start and end times using the various drop-down menus available. If this is an all-day event, click on the checkbox next to the all-day event option. The show time as menu allows you to decide whether to display this block of time as free, busy, tentative, or out of the office to other Outlook users that may be scheduling meetings with you. The space at the bottom of the appointment is for any notes you would like to add. If this is a recurring appointment, such as your weekly sales meeting, you might like to set this appointment up to repeat on a set schedule. This can be done by selecting the Recurrence button. In the Recurrence menu, you can set up the appointment to occur daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly by selecting the radio button for the desired option. Once a repeat option is selected, the options to the right will change to reflect the desired recurrence pattern. In the options menu, you can fine tune which exact days you want this appointment to repeat on. You also can select how long the recurrence will last, anywhere from no end date, to end after a certain number of occurrences, or to end on a certain date. Once you have set your recurrence options, click on the OK button. You will be taken back to the main appointment window. Once you have completed creating your appointment, click on the Save and Close button. Your new appointment will then be displayed on your calendar. If you need to change your appointment, just double click on your appointment to open it up. If this is a recurring appointment, you will be asked if you want to open and edit just this one occurrence of the appointment or the entire series of recurring appointments. Make your selection using the buttons shown. Once the appointment is open, you can modify any of the options. If this was a recurring appointment and you have selected to change the series of appointments, you would click on the Recurrence button to give you access to all of those options once again. As we selected to edit just this one occurrence, the Recurrence button is grayed out. After making the desired edits to the appointment, you would click on the Save and Close button to apply the changes. To remove an appointment from your calendar, Highlight the appointment by clicking on it. Then, select the Delete button from the toolbar at the top of the calendar. If this was a recurring appointment, 
You must also click on the Delete Occurrence or Delete Series button in order to remove it from your calendar. The appointment will be removed from your calendar. To return to your email homepage, click on the Mail button at the bottom of the calendar. You are taken back to the main Outlook web app page. Once you are finished using your Outlook web app, you can log out by clicking on the Sign Out button in the upper right side of the screen. This concludes this presentation on how to use the calendar functions in the Outlook web app. Additional training videos on this and other topics are on the Long and Foster Cafe. We thank you for viewing this video.